Hello guys, I'm back on Windows 11 and I want to have a quick look at the magnifier option. Also uses the option to text to speech so quickly you can navigate and have stuff read back to you. Now I've been having a little play on Windows 11 with the shortcut keys but I can't get a few of them to work. And I don't know whether it's specific to Windows 11 or not because it works in Windows 10. So I want you to try this out yourself and see how you get on. So first thing I need to do is actually turn the magnifier on. You can do it a couple of ways. You could come down the bottom here, use the search option. Or, quicker ways, hold down the Windows logo key and press plus. And that will bring it up for you to work with. You can actually zoom in and out as well using the Windows key and minus. See, in the increments, it goes up 100%. We can change that to go up 200% every time you press it. So if you just want to zoom in quickly, you don't have to do certain increments. I'll show you that now. So go to settings and go to settings. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out over there for you. So magnifier's on, as you can see. If you want to use it all the time, you can choose start magnifier before signing or start magnifier after signing. So that will automatically start up for you. Zoom level. When I was doing a shortcut key, Windows and Plus, it went up by 100% at a time. You can change the increments. So every time you press it, it will go 200% up. So have a little play with that as well. View. These are the options I can't get working in my Windows 11, these shortcut keys. I can tap on them and it will work. Let me show you. So I'm going to click dot. So what that does, you can then dock a window, say to the top of the screen, and then you can navigate with the mouse and it will give you that option zoomed in at the top, if you wish. Also, if I click on it, I've got the full screen. It just gives you the standard full screen. But underneath, you've got the lens option. Then you can move around the lens. And remember, use the shortcut key. Windows and plus to zoom in, so I can zoom in with that in certain areas as well. But then I want to click, if I could try shortcut key, it doesn't work, so I want to come back here and pull it back to full screen again. And then remember the shortcut key, Windows logo and minus will bring me back out again. So have a little play with that, see if they're working for you. Also down here you can invert colours as well the shortcut keys for that's control alt and i and that's the other one that doesn't work let's see if it works for yours smooth edges of images and text really helps when you're zooming in and out now reading i'll come to in a minute i'll show you that there's no issues with the reading shortcuts but related option settings you might want to change is maybe your text size maybe you want the text a little bit bigger as so and also the display so you might want to change the scale here to a bigger scale as well by tapping on that. I've got 150 recommended for now but definitely stuff to have a little play with. So I'll come back out of there and I'm now going to close that window. Let me try out the documents. I'm going to open up this test document. So now we can zoom in can't we? So it's Windows Plus, zoom in and zoom out. Also you've got another option here. If you hold down Control Alt and Spacebar it zooms out just for a split few seconds so you can have a quick look at the screen and where you are. Let me do that again. Control Alt Space. So you can just see where you are on the desktop and what position you're at. Then you can go to your document and then you can start typing there. And remember, you can use a shortcut key in and out with the minus and plus to go in and out when you want to. But it will keep focus on where you're actually typing and text. But uh, leave me feedback on my YouTube channel, see how you get on with that in Windows 11. Now we've got the readback feature. So if I go up here, we're still zoomed in. Now I've got an option, I can click at the beginning. Now if I actually come to the magnifier, there's the readback option there. It's Control Alt and left mouse click, or if I tap on it, you can just click. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click on line video, you can paste in the embed code for the video. And I'm going to pause. But you can also use a shortcut key, which I'll show you as well. So tap on the beginning. And the shortcut key is Control plus Alt plus Enter. So give that a go. Control Alt and Enter. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click on line video, you can paste in the embed code for the video. Control Alt to stop. And it will stop at the point there as if it's paused. And that way you can read back all your documents as well. There's a couple of other shortcuts that you might want to use. Control Alt and K. Control Alt K. You can also type a keyword. 
To make Tap your document look prof for example, Tap it again. you can add a matching cover page. Control Alt and enter to stop. Now Control Alt and K will jump to the next paragraph or line for you quickly. So that works with the same with Control Alt and H. To make your document look professionally pro And that way it will jump back just in case you want to navigate quickly with the shortcuts. Now it should also work on the internet, so she'll give it a go. I've got a website here, so so what I'm going to do is I might want this whole web website read back. So remember the shortcut key, Control Alt and Enter. Page semi-protected. Art from Wikipedia. The free encyclopedia. Jump to navigation. Jump to search. This article is about the general concept of art. For the group of creative disciplines, see the arts. Control Alt and Enter to stop. So that's a quick way to read back online. And when you're using a document as well, or maybe when you're doing emails. Also, with the readback feature, if you come to the settings option here, you can change your voice. So you've got various voices in there, but you can download other voices. If you go to Microsoft, just type in Beach to Text Voices and you can download a package. But Hazel's pretty good, I think. So again, change the speed there and play around with the sound so you can get that right. To close Magnifier, Again, the Windows logo key and escape. So Windows and escape and that will turn it off for you. So have a little play with that. I mean, let me now get on with the view options. Control plus Alt and D. Control plus Alt and F. Control plus Alt and L. Because one's for docking, full or lens format. Thanks for watching.